New Jersey announced six new coronavirus cases today, but no additional deaths, and state officials focused on stricter social distancing to control the virus's spread. Governor Murphy recommended cancellation of all events with more than 250 people, including all parades, concerts, and sporting events. We are in a public health emergency and a state of emergency. Again, there's still no need to panic, but we've got to be smart about getting out ahead of this. State officials say Murphy's restrictions aren't mandatory, like New York Governor Cuomo's, but depend on people being responsible. What if it's a wedding? Where are you gonna have 250 people? I think that we're allowing uh, a little bit of leverage for that, a little bit of leverage for uh, religious uh, events, but we're really asking people to make their own decision. Soaring infection rates are forcing a seismic change in the cultural landscape. People lined up shopping carts at a BJ's and Wachung stocking up against possible quarantine. Stores are rationing staples like toilet paper. Across New Jersey, playgrounds emptied as 207 school districts closed or are closing due to coronavirus concerns, most of them for deep cleaning and planning, according to New Jersey's Education Commissioner. He said school cafeterias could change food service. We will be making recommendations tomorrow to our school districts to, to modify their schedule and, and to have, have lunch within the classrooms. East Brunswick School District shut down after a 58-year-old township woman was hospitalized with the virus. Parents are coping as best they can, so are students. They are pretty smart kids. They have been listening to the news and they are on top of the situation. They know what's going and on. And the teachers and, uh, are also talking to them. The schools were briefing them right from the beginning. Some critics say the CDC should expand test protocols to include thousands more people. Hackensack Meridian Health isn't waiting for the CDC, instead creating its own rapid response coronavirus test. Officials say it cuts the wait time for results from days to hours. Healthcare providers, meanwhile, braced for a predicted surge in patients and testing. We swab uh, patients twice, once in the uh, nose, and it's not the most pleasant test in the world. The swab goes up pretty high in someone's nose. And then we also swab their throat. And if patients are producing a sputum, then we take a sputum sample as well. Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck no longer depends on New Jersey's Department of Health for coronavirus testing. State officials say they have the capacity to test 40 to 60 people a day. I think the Department of Health is inundated and the commercial lab has been able to ramp up a little bit. So we're using a commercial lab. Unfortunately, there's still quite a delay. It's, it's at least three days and in some cases a bit longer. Meanwhile, social distancing is the new MO as agencies ban large gatherings. After a Utah jazz player tested positive, the NBA, NHL and MLS suspended their seasons until further notice. Major League Baseball just canceled spring training. The NC2A canceled its basketball tournament. New York City postponed the St. Patrick's Day parade for the first time in its history and crew Cruise operators Viking and Carnival Princess announced they're suspending trips until April and May. Close contact creates opportunities for droplet infection. The coronavirus enters through your mucous membranes. That means your nose, your mouth, and possibly your eyes as well. It's particularly dangerous for people over 60 who have health issues like diabetes, hypertension, or cardiac disease. The virus is most deadly when it attacks the lungs. Usually it's because of a, a severe pneumonia where you have trouble oxygenating the lungs and once you have trouble oxygenating your blood because of a pneumonia then the other organs tend to suffer. Many people may not realize they're infected. It could just feel like a cold but they could still be spreading the virus. Health officials urge if you don't feel well stay home. In Ewing, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.